And you need to know that there are people here on your side. Getting their voices heard. This group of youngsters have come to tell MPs about the effect that a family's finances can have on the food they eat. It's called food poverty. Corey McPartland, who cares for her mother, has experienced it. It's hard to fit in all the time like with things I need to do and things that I, I want to do. So it's quite hard. And then if we don't have food in the cupboard, we'll have to like ration or just cut down meals. The Children's Future Food Inquiry aims to highlight the problems that can be caused by food poverty, with the emphasis on hearing from young people. According to the campaign, well over three and a half million children are living in a household where a healthy diet is unaffordable. And they say a recent survey of youngsters revealed that a quarter of those who didn't qualify for free school meals admitted not eating because they couldn't afford to. The inquiry's also been hearing evidence from teachers. I think lack of having something to eat before they come to school affects their concentration. Um, it's also, we see a correlation between behaviour and our hungry children that come from the most deprived backgrounds. Um, so yes, there's a different co correlation there between uh, being hungry and being able to concentrate and focus on what we're asking them to do. We were very surprised by the scale of the problem and I think um, even more surprised when you hear children talking about what that really means for their lives. Um, we've spent this morning listening to children talking to parliamentarians about what the practicalities of this are, what it means when they see their friends who are struggling. The government says that since 2010, a million people have been lifted out of poverty, including 300,000 children and it says household incomes have never been higher. Why are they on every street corner and are stones throw away from our school gates? Why the youngsters have also been expressing their views on issues like the availability of fast food through videos made by the Fixers charity, all part of an effort to improve the health of generations to come. Kevin Ashford, ITV News. And shout the loudest. I'm next door. I'm on TV. I'm only a pound. Grab and go on 